This is the project of Swiss Humanity for the daycare of children here. Daycare school. Not proper school, but daycare for little children. So, I think he will be happy to see that it's got roof. I think he already know. But it's beside the river. The river is just down there. And you know that bamboo shed you can see up above. That used to be where the little children have their daycare class. I'm here right now in Barangay Tabunan and we're looking at their multi-purpose building here and you can see it's quite well made despite the Barangay Tabunan is not a popular barangay like Barangay Koguba but they have cemented roads and the people here are just living close to one another this is like the center of the Barangay Tabunan area and you have to know Barangay Tabunan is a watershed barangay here in Cebu City. So that means no land here is up for titling. Everyone here is on beneficiary use because this is a watershed area. So if someone will be selling you land as in Barangay Tabunan, you have to check it out because there's no land that is titled around inside Barangay Tabunan. I'm gonna check out because if you wanna build a house around here, you have to go to the barangay, sign up a paperwork and pay 25000 for the usage of that land that you're gonna use here around Barangay Tabunan. Because there is no such thing that they, they have lands for sale here because Barangay Tabunan is watershed. And that's a fact. So the road concreting just stop there but it's still continuing on they're still excavating so what we do is just walk towards sitio lero so people are concreting their house here as well this is the way we go <laughs> Can it David? Mona. So this is the rip wrap that they build beside the road. Obo a dollar. So, Tatay Julito said it might be because they're pointing by their mouth. I'll stay here. It means so far. But since. Oh, Nara lagi. Nah, dia makita dia, mam. Nara dari dapit ang balai sakuan. Katong gitu kod. So this is the riprap of the road for the side of the road. So the, there's still look you can see they're still fabing the area for making the road and you can see there's no road here before so people just go by foot so when it's all done, it'd be easier for the people to go to the school. So look at that, the road ends there. Asam tamu ali ah. Naiko ane lagi ane dia. Muli ke dari ke dadlo mamlion. Oh. Ah, so, so she she lives there in Liro and then she walks this area every day. Kilid. Gosh. 
So you can see how hard is the road. So the government is making a road for the people that live here in City Uliro. Wait. This is... <laughs> oh my God. So this is what we have to go through on the way to Liro. There's no road. The road is still being built, being break from the side of the hill. So we have to go through here. I have to stop filming doing myself going down. So I have to hold on to the Lois back. Now we continue on. So. This is how far it is. You can see all the farms on the side of the hill. <laughs> so we were concerned how are we gonna go back? It's so steep on the side of that where the backhoe is. <laughs> this is how you go to City Uliro as of the moment but when the road is finished it will be easier it, it's a two-way rural road <laughs> so it's only people can go through here. Pas pas guys, Baminay. So, be, gidong gidong. Okay, okay. Oh, it's really hard. It's really hard. <laughs> this is how far is the barangay city of Liro. <laughs> so it's really steep, you know. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god I can't do this every day but I really salute these people for doing this every day ginooko Maria Josep <laughs> so they're they're tormenting libet because she's quite on the <laughs> wait wait slide you can do so we're here now in barangay liro you can see all the plantations Vegetable plantation down there and up on the hills. And now you can see housing there and the house build the building that the Swiss Humanity Projects there. 
So that was a good idea. Then it's a good noble intention to help the people up far here. But anyway, the roads coming up here, it will be easier for the children to go to school soon. The project is now going on since 2018. Giving them roads spearheaded by the Department of Agriculture. So these are just like little villages here that we have to go through. Duterte! The name of the dog is Duterte, this one. Duterte. So we still have to go to this another steep road going to Asa da pita Asa ni Agui Dere Another steep hill Oh kan di eh Sorry, Lungtod. So that's the project of the Swiss humanity there. We're gonna go on the steep hill again. That's the river. You can see. So this is the area where he planned. That's the project that he got there. So I'll have to stop because it's very steep and I'm slipping down. So make myself safe. So you can see we just been climbing on this side of the hill. I have to stop where the cow is. But we are now nearing Sityuli Rock. You can see the river. And that's the another house and then the purple house that you can see. We're near there now. We're just going down. I'm just having a rest. Una <laughs> lang So that's their irrigation source of irrigation, the big river on the side. Now you can see all the plantation. Unsa ni siya Batong? Batong. The plantation of string beans. And up there, the sayotis, okra, eggplant, all sorts. Tomatoes, man? Tomatoes? Oh. So it's tomatoes. On the front and the back, it's the string beans. So this is how steep is the side of the hill that we had to walk through going to see Tuliro. So I had to continue on. I just hold on the Daloy's back because he's used to climbing this hill. I'm now here the tomato plantation. The back is the string bean plantation. But you can see the steep hill that I have to climb down to come here in Sityulero. It's quite hard to come here, but it's good news that the government is actually making a road for them. But the thing is, it's not finished. So after here, we're gonna cross that river. But I wanna show you the tomato plantation here. Because I'm uh, struggling to get down now from that side of the hill you can see how hard it's this even my guides here have to stop and rest but look at all the tomatoes lush there got loads tomato fresh tomato plantations There. So you can see it's gonna be so cheap to buy tomatoes here around this area. 
you're going to be direct from the farm. Now it's another steep hill that I have to ask the Lois help to get down to the river. Wait, Sadong. I'm going to turn this off for safe. So we're going to have to cross the river. Maghuwag sa patos? Ano lang, uy? Lutso lang ko. Ha? Ayaw! Maura giyapon. Ay lang. Lakaw nang tayo, balag basa. Asam, nita pa doon, gawman di man. Diba? Basa, ra giyapon. So, I have to cross the river. Mabasa, ra giyapon, no? Ah, mau lagi. Itunob na lang. Ama uba, segi segi. You have to take off your shoes. Tempa. I'm now crossing the river. I have to take off my shoes. It's not really deep yet, so people can still cross. But we were told, you know, the river banks that you can see in the line there, it goes as big as that. So this is like the house that you can see. This is now the city of Liro. Pagi layasan kena dah ilih. I just have to go barefoot. So this is the project that was mentioned around this area. It is very very far. So this is the house project. More than the young project, the day bed. Ah, ma ayu. This is the project. Isa man ang yuta yung dipalit. I'll just put on my shoes because got loads of nails. This is the project of Swiss Humanity for the daycare of children here. Daycare school. Not proper school, but daycare for little children. So, I think he will be happy to see that it's got roof. I think she already know. But it's beside the river. The river is just down there. And you know that Bamboo shed you can see up above that used to be where the little children have their daycare class But Swiss humanity have done this two room Daycare class like I said They have not bought any land here because nobody owns land here in Tabunan. It's all just Beneficial use because Tabunan is a watershed So this is the area and this is the stage of it now. So this is like about two meters wide. But it's better than the shed that the children used to have there. So this is how, what is the stage of it now? So it's for little children daycare school in preparation for the kindergarten. That's the purple house that you can see. There's another house has been built here. But overall, this is the project here in Barangay Tabunan. And this area, there's only a few houses here. But soon there'll be roads coming here. You can see that it's being built where I've been through and they are beside the river that irrigates the farms around here in Tabunan but this is quite a noble project so David congratulations look this is now the stage of your project hope that you can do the requirements what's legally required of you with the DSWD Katong 
usa dito ma'am Leon, iya sa to, luyo Adi li sa to skulahan Oh, kanira ya ha So this is still the soil for rendering Wala may mapalit di diri kung ano man ni diri sa tabunan good ma'am yun Kanang Water shed, beneficial use rin iya. Maraming niya, gibayra niya, gwensin ko, kanin gito ko rin. So he paid 25,000 for the space here. Like I said, you cannot buy land here in Tabunan because it's owned by the government. All the people here live on beneficial use. So you pay 25,000 to the barangay and you will say what area you want to use any land here in Tabunan for beneficial. Nagiya sa yutaan. Ang kinsin, kinsin na ka... Una ani. Kisa na ka-claim ani. Oo. Pero magpahimo sila ka sa barangay. Yeah. So the one that have the permit first that stayed here, although he didn't own the land, they paid that 25,000 beneficiary use and then they have an agreement in the barangay because the whole area someone else is own. It's not proper transfer of titles and all that. It's just beneficiary use. So you can see these are the communities the will benefit from his school but most of these are that's the building that you can see in the picture so this is his building this two bedroom um two bed two be, two class two room class for the daycare uh -huh. So this is his area that he paid twenty five thousand beneficial beneficial use. But I hope that everything goes well because this is a good project, and you can always create your own char non stock non profit co corporation and get registered, David. Your projects are really good. Cause. I have dealt with registered corporation and they have helped a lot of people. The big corporation, the big non-stop non-profit foundations. They have a lot of project, but in your own small way it's a good project. So, so if you want anything here in the barang in Tabunan, you just pay the beneficial use of 25,000 anywhere here in Tabunan. For a Filipino, because someone here just transferred here, they also paid twenty-five thousand for beneficial use in the barangay of Tabunan. This is me, Mam Leone. Is the trusted people person who built this one? So, ikaw de trusted ani Mam Leon? Ari ari sila mo kontak na ako diri mo, mo katro na katarbaho ako sa mo kung diri. Ikaw mo kontak sa worker. Ah, so. Ikay mag swildo sa nila. Oh. Oh. So he, she's the one who handles the money and then hire the workers. She's the trusted one for this project. Pila oh. Siga all the list of how pila material. Pila na nagasto ka ani ma'am. So he estimated that already about hundred thousand pesos. Labor materials. Oh, delivery here. Bidan manually. So by one week he pays. Twelve thousand a week when they were piling the hollow blocks. Semana imong mabayran. Gisulan sa kamam liyon. So he's she's not really asking for any wages. She's just she's only helping, but sometimes they give her allowance. So this is the project of Swiss Humanity. So may sa mamu. Pero mahum madako, mahuman na yung karsada. Dari no madako. Dag makasayo na sa mga bata may skwila dito sa integrated oh, school. Oo, may skwila din. Naram sa mga diari, ma'am. Ah. Nani -ani. So, the one that they're targeting this for as uh, the children from the farms in the hills. Oh. 
So they were happy because it's so far for to take the kids every day to go to day school, to daycare school. So they're still very small, like two, three or three. three ang daycare na three, four, three to four years old, no? Mm, three, three to four, four years old. So look, when someone they're sitting on this chair, it breaks apart. So you can see how they construct it here. Like the chair, the bench just break apart. So this are so this is Memlioni is the trusted one. So that's the square that she he had for his school. So you can see this um this sun that you can see there ready for rendering. That's still been paid by Swiss humanity. Kato sa mga siminto sa sod. So, this is the project and hopefully he can have this finish and then it's a great help for the people here in tabunan so it's not that they have bought the land they have bought the beneficiary use and it's quite nice because but it's dangerous for children if they're playing because rock is beside the river right beside the river so it needs fencing pinsing on you mam kay mga bata mga tagak na deha it's quite dangerous it's on the side of the river and there's a school open to the river so the erosion as well is another problem kem sige nya erode ba mudako ang baha maabot diha da pita magsigig ko anang youth oh needs like rip rap on the side to protect the building but this is how it's made yeah you can see Two meters wide each classroom. So that their trusted people said it's about this is not the cement, this is just somebody building the house, put it here to protect from the rain, but this is what the school is now looking. But since it's beside the river, when the river, umuda ko ang tubig, ma'am Leon ba? Maabot, madiriya, no? Lagi. So, when the river goes big during typhoon season, yeah, it can even reach here. So, it needs some sort of protection here. It might keep on eroding. Naga, dari mo. Kuan ang bag-riprap, ma'am Leon ba? Needs rip rap here because the soil keeps on eroding, and you can see it's only like three meters there. That's the building, and then three meters that's the river. So, but it's very beneficial for the children around here in the mountain barangays. You can see there's still farms up there, there's still houses all around. And around the city Liro, they can come down here, but others would prefer go to the integrated school, that the big school that we just passed through in the proper tabunan where they go to school. So it is quite a very noble project, but you can see here it's always fogging. So okay, them yun eh. Meta matiwas na ni niya. So this is from the other side of the view from the river and that's the project, school project of Swiss humanity. I don't know, the build is really very inferior but I think it's good enough for just a daycare but since I know 
what a good build is it's not possible to me but good luck it's a very good project and like I said I said to the um, if it's not gonna continue on perhaps they, he can coordinate with the big registered charities that can finish the project with their funds this is the chapel that the people the farmers around here make so this is where, where they also held the daycare classes so you can see the little stools for the little children because daycare is three to four years old and right across you cross the river and that's where the building been created for the next intended for the daycare instead of here So we're gonna go up now we're parked on top of the hill so we have to go before it gets so dark <laughs> 